Hi everyone, my name is Vandy Murray and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. How y'all doing today? <laughs> well, for me, I have been having a busy week. <laughs> I have so many appointments. I can't tell you what they are. The only thing I can tell you is the economy is reopening slowly. That's all I can say <laughs> because I don't want to jinx myself. So. so today's episode will be about Pokemon Go's news. There's so many news, news, news this week. <laughs> it's like so hard to keep uh, keep up, right? <laughs> so um, let's talk about the first thing they do um, in general. Let's say the fir the month of May. So um, in the month of May, oh, very excited. I'm so happy. Um, so we know that already uh, from old news, previous news, that uh, Shadow Moltres is coming back to Pokemon Go, um, the sh Shadow one. Um, so, and then there would be also time research that will be available during the Luminous uh, Legend X event. We'll talk about that late, uh, later on. So, so then uh, our main research breakthrough from May 1st to June 1st is Galarian Ponyta. Yes! Um, I know it, you all may have hatched a lot. I did hatch a lot of Glarian Ponyta, but spoiler, it will be shiny, but not on May 1st. You have to wait until May 4th. I'll explain that later on uh, in the other, when we talk about uh, legendary Pokemon. And then um, Incarnate Form uh, Tornadus, Incarnate Thunderous, and Incarnate Form Landorus will appear in 5 star rates until May 4th, 2021. So uh, by the time you watch this, it's already out already. It came back uh, for another chance for you guys to catch shiny variants. So I already caught shiny of all three of these, but I can grind again. You never know. You may get hundo or shundo, right? Um, and then on May 4th at 10 a.m. to May 18th um, at 10 a.m., uh, Xerneas, the life Pokemon, will make its Pokemon Go debut. We already know it, Xerneas is coming to Pokemon Go based on the uh, opening screen of the game. So yes, finally we have Xerneas. I think everybody's looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I think this is going to be better than the other one that I'm going to talk about, which is Yoveltal. Uh, well, everybody's different, so I think Xerneas is better. <laughs> so yeah, Yoveltal will come to Pokemon Go debut. Uh, it's the Destruction Pokemon from May 18th to um, June 1st. So excited! Oh my gosh! So you have half. It's I like how they do this. Half of a month is this. Uh, half the month is this event. I like that better than like every week event, 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 event. Oh, it's like too overwhelming. But that's in my opinion. So a uh, mega uh, Pokemon will rotate as well. So Mega Venusaur, Mega Lopunny, and Mega Abomino Snow will continue to appear in Mega Rates until May fourth at ten a.m. Uh, and then it will change. Uh, from May 4th uh, to May 15th, uh, it will change to Venus, Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard Y, and Mega Lopunny. Then on Saturday, May 15th uh, to June 1st, it will uh, change to Mega Ampharos, uh, Mega Houndoom, and a surprise Pokemon Evolved Pokemon. Yes! We're going to have a new Mega Pokemon. Yes! I'm so excited. I'm curious what it is, but um, there's no hint yet. So we, we shall see what the new uh, Mega Pokemon is. Next, it's, we'll be grinding for Mega Energy again. <laughs> and then Spotlight Hour. I think the Spotlight Hour is better. So Cottony uh, will be in Spotlight Hour May 4th. Uh, and you earn twice the candy for Catch Pokemon. And remember, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> you may see R2-D2 is just pop up right here. Uh, this R2-D2 was handmade by my cousin. Um, yeah, she nicked it. So it's awesome. So remember, May 4th is Star Wars Day, <laughs> not just Cottony Day. <laughs> so I'm going to grind this one too because I need to uh, get some more fairy type Pokemon uh, to complete my uh, platinum badge for fairy type. I know there is an upcoming event that will help me as well, but this will help me starting to help me, like get there started, right? <laughs> So um, then next is May 11th, Dratini Spotlight Hour, and you earn twice the candy for transferring Pokemon. Then uh, May 18th, Alolan Rattata will be in the Spotlight Hour, and you earn twice for the XP for evolving Pokemon. So I need Rattata, Alolan Rattata, uh, so I need to grind that. Um, Dratini, I will grind. Everybody wants Dratini, right? Dragonite, Dragonite, Dragonite. Meryl, Meryl! What Meryl? Meryl wants to say something. Meryl, 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 Meryl. So he's saying, 
that on May 25th, he will be the spotlight hour and you earn twice the stardust for catching Meryl or Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, Demiro was very excited. <laughs> it, it, I know because Miro has a uh, day already, a uh, long time ago. Uh, I think it was some kind of uh, uh, battle, Pokemon Go League. Uh, you earn Miro, right? Get a higher chance of shinies. Uh, but this time is a spotlight hour. Another time for him to shine. Miro is very excited. Miro, Miro, Miro! <laughs> Another thing is uh, May 15th. Like on May 15th, uh, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m., there will be a community day. We don't know what it is yet. For sure, it's not the starter Pokemon, because based on the past, Niantic uh, do starter Pokemon, something new, then starter Pokemon, something new, then starter Pokemon. So uh, it's probably something. It's not going to be Ted Pig, for sure. Um, so unless that's going to be June, but don't take my word for it. I'm, this is my uh, educated guess. So yes, so something new. So let's hopefully it's something new that we haven't seen before, unlike the repeat shiny like Roselia. Who wants Roselia community day again, right? <laughs> so we already know about Pokemon Snap event. They talk about it again. Uh, it's going to be an exciting event. Next one. Luminous Legend X. Ooh. On May 4 to May 17, uh, Xerneas will of uh, course make its uh, Pokemon Go debut. And then more fairy and dragon type uh, that discover in Kalos will come out and then we'll see like new Pokemon like Spritzy which we already predicted it because its evolved form was already in the uh, loading screen uh, Swirlix and Gloomy we don't know what is that <laughs> so but yeah it's new Pokemon coming out awesome and then um, a new item will be coming to Pokemon Go the Rainy Lure module uh, which can be used to evolve Sligo Goo the evolution of Gloomy into Gudra you can also evolve Slugo within the in-game weather it's rainy. Within the game weather is rainy. Wow, that is amazing. That is the first time that we uh, rely on weather boost to for it to rain. I know we don't have uh, rainy weather yet, uh, but that's cool. That means it gives you an option to uh, either use rainy um, lore if you don't want to spend your money, or just wait until it rains later on maybe april spring i know april's already over never mind <laughs> but whatever whenever it's raining right so cool i love this idea it gives you an opportunity free or paid uh to evolve it so cool so i'm hoping that we're gonna get rainy uh lore for free hopefully i know it's not guaranteed uh maybe I, maybe it's not in this event maybe in a future event but i i'm looking forward to it so you never know right and then so you all we also get exclusive time research to encounter fairy type Pokemon and as well receive rainy lure module. <gasps> okay, so I was right. <laughs> I should have read this before I uh, I you do this video, but oh my gosh, yes. So I was right, we're gonna receive one free rainy lure and other rewards. So good. It's guaranteed. So that way I I'm not gonna use it, but maybe I'll use it later. I have to I always when I get a free lore, I always use it wisely. Just like last time, I use a glacial lore um, uh, as a uh, during weather boost, and I I create a tip video. So um, I try I use the glacial lore uh, for emergency purposes because uh, I need to catch a thirty different type of ice type Pokemon in order to finish that second step of Mew, shiny Mew quest. So it was emergency necessary, uh, well not emergency necessary, um, so that's why I used it and I know I admit I bought one lore so uh, it was worth it. So <laughs> so yeah, use your uh, lures wisely. So this rainy lore, I'm going to keep it and I'll use it wisely or just wait until rainy weather. Maybe I'll just wait for rainy weather so I can test it out for you guys. Yeah, that, yeah that's a good idea, I should try that. And then also Dragonite and Salamance will be able to learn certain attacks during this event. Evolve a Dragonair or use a Charged TM on a Dragonite to teach it Draco Meteor and evolve a Shellgon or, or use a Charged TM on Salamence to teach it Outrage. Oh, that's awesome! Uh, because some people who didn't participate in the past Community Day event get another chance to, uh, to TM um, their Dragonite and Salamence to have the exclusive move. Cool, I like that. It gives you all these opportunities. In addition, you can work with other trainers to catch fairy-type Pokemon. By doing so, you can unlock rewards during the second half of the event. 
from Saturday, May 1st to May 9th, you and other trainers worldwide can work together to catch 500 million fairy type Pokemon total. If this goal is met, special bonuses will be available from Tuesday, May 11th at 10 a.m. to Monday, 17th, uh, May 17th at 8 a.m. Um, then eight, the bonuses will be three times XP will be activated for the rest of the event. Pancham will make it a Pokemon debut appearing in the race for the rest of the event. If you're lucky, you might find a shiny Glarian Ponyta. Shiny Gl Glarian Ponyta will continue to be available after the event. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. We're going to have a global event. It's a catch this time, catch fairy type Pokemon. So I am looking forward to this. I like catching better than raiding because raiding, you need to spend your remote raid pass. Hello, money, come on. So so um, catching, you just take your time and catch and eat faster. I believe it's faster than raiding. So I like this event um, and you get to get these th three rewards. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Uh, Shiny Glarium Ponyta is coming to Pokemon Go. So excited. Just to let you know, uh, we don't get shiny Glareon Ponyta until we uh, all work together on Global Challenge, okay? So don't uh, don't get upset if it's May 1st and it doesn't show up, okay? Uh, it's after. like It won't come out until May 11th if we complete the Global World cha uh, Global Challenge. But I think we can do it. We did it before with the raid, so I believe we can do it. Teamwork! Let's go! <laughs> Another exciting news. Go Pokemon Go Fest is coming July 17 to 18. Yay! It's a two-day uh, global event. We don't have any update when it is, but uh, Meryl is in the picture. Meryl! Again, <laughs> Meryl Spotlight Hour and also Meryl in the picture. <laughs> yeah, so we're all excited about it. Um, so mark your calendars. Take your day off. It's a two-day event. I'm not sure how it will be. Um, I want it I have a recommendation I want it like one day catching and maybe do some story challenges I don't mind then second day is team go rocket balloon I think that is better because I think last year it was everything all together so it's kind of overwhelming you have to do team go rocket balloon or catch Pokemon you, you have to catch one or you have to pick one or the other and then sometimes when while you're battling team go rocket um, it, you're going to lose your opportunity in uh, catching a Pokemon in the wild because um, when you turn on your incense, um, every time the incense turn on, um, every 30 seconds, one Pokemon spawns. So every time you battle a Team Go Rocket, uh, it's going to waste like one or two minutes. I, some t I know some last time they did um, decrease the timing in fighting a Team Go Rocket grunt and all that, uh, but it, it's still, even though they decrease it, it's still a waste of time because you're going to miss like two Pokemon, two or four Pokemon. Remember, 30 seconds uh, per Pokemon pop up from an instance. So yeah, so I, I hope they split it this time around since it's a two-day event. So I'm going to participate it, hopefully, <laughs> uh, depending on my schedule, but I really, really want it. Whatever the, my schedule is, I'm going to take that day off. <laughs> and then another thing I want to do before Pokemon Go Fest is to do Throwback Thursday Travel Chicago and Pokemon Go Fest 2018. Um, I'm not sure when to post it, but that's my goal, to either post it in June or before June, July 17. Uh, that way I can, you know, share you guys my experience, right? <laughs> wow, so many news this week. And I'm so busy with my schedule and I have to get ready for Pokemon Go Snap. And you probably saw me on Twitter keep posting and uh, deleting tweets uh, because I'm playing around with my Nintendo Switch. I did not know that you could filter uh, videos in Nintendo Switch. It's an interesting thing to know, right? <laughs> so let me know in the comments below what are you looking forward to the new update in May. Uh, like the Pokemon Legendary Pokemon Xerneas or of Yovelto. Ooh, I'm so excited. Or free for me, I am so excited about Pokemon Go Fest. It's in July, but I'm so excited. <laughs> Even Miro's excited about its own day. Meow, meow. Spotlight hour. Meow, meow. <laughs> so um, thank you for joining me in this video. I hope you like it, and I hope you're excited about all those news coming up. <laughs> so uh, please leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Meow, meow.